Hey, what's up? I'm Unknown Shadow. This is Gracie. This is Colorado. And what are we going to do today? Well, it's very windy today. So, and that's why I'm actually recording this in a Jeep rather than on a bike. I think what we're going to do is install a fender lift kit on the front end of the, the little Honda Monkey. I know that the fender's already pretty high up, but what this is going to do is actually bring that fender all the way up to just underneath the headlight. Give it a little bit, slightly more of an aggressive dirt look. Um, one of the reasons why it has taken me a little bit longer to actually do this is when I first went to start this work, I realized that the horn is actually mounted on just underneath the, the headlight. To install this fender relocation kit, I have to relocate the horn too. So, yeah, had to wait for that kit to show up. Before that, I'm heading over to Colorado Motorcycle Expo today. Go and look around and see the swap meet. But yeah, I'm gonna work on some stuff. There we go. What we're gonna need to do is actually remove the horn here, route these cables back and around, take this fender off, take this piece off, reroute it through here somewhere, and we'll figure out where. We're actually gonna take a bracket and mount the horn off of this side. Uh, it should cover up some of the wiring in here and some of these hoses, so it actually might make that look a little bit nicer. Good things there's pictures. I don't think I can read that. So the manual for this part basically shows it here, but really I'm thinking, really I'm thinking here might be a little bit nicer. So I'll try that out, tighten it down and see what it looks like. three for the fender and four to go back up into the tree and also three washers to go with the fender um, stock this little bracket hooks around here it's also a little capture clip that's normally mounted here that goes around this. I removed that, and because this is so much higher, um, I couldn't quite figure out what to do, but for the moment, what I did was I just took that clip that was there and just moved it up. This is all rubber housing around the brake line, so I'm hoping that 
you know, shouldn't be any real damage from this, but we'll see. Um, and it's at least keeping it out of the way for the moment. If anybody has like any ideas, they can leave me a comment down below, but I'll be trying to figure out if there's any other options for this in the long run. But for now, it looks pretty good. Probably the hardest part of the install. So that's it for this install. It was actually pretty easy. Wouldn't have taken too long, provided I wasn't trying to film stuff. But yeah, I actually like a little bit of extra height between the tire and the fender. When I install some knobbies, that'll actually look a lot better too. I got the pre-filter on, I've got the horn moved over. Overall, I like the look. And that's it. With that, we'll call this a video. Like, subscribe, do those things if you like to do those things. Hopefully you liked this video, hope you like some of my other videos as well. Otherwise, hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.